Hey, Ryan. Uh, I know special teams compromise things as the game progressed, but it seems as an offense, you guys started off strong in the first half and, and kind of tailed off again in the second half. What what changed over the course of the game for you guys? Yeah, we did some things early. We didn't come out and execute well enough in the second half. You know, had some opportunities, shot ourselves in the foot a few times. Um, I think a pass I missed, missed to Johnny wide open on, on corner route. Uh, early opportunity there in the second half and just really couldn't get it going. Jim? Ron, I guess just the overall, what was the overall team frustration level like at this point and, and what what does the mindset have to be if you guys are going to get back in this thing through the second half of the season? Yeah, we have to clean up and start playing better. Uh, plain and simple. Um, it's just inconsistent. We've done some good things. Defense has done some good things. We're just not consistent enough as a team. Uh, playing complimentary football, playing off of each other, and um, just not making enough plays. So we're going to have to clean that up, uh, really get healthy over this this little extended week we have here, be able to clear our minds and our heads and come back ready to go on Monday because uh, we can't wait around any longer. We have to have to take it up a notch and, and be ready to play our best football every Sunday from here going forward. So the onus is on us to take a critical look at, at ourselves and do whatever it takes to clean it up and make the plays on Sunday. John Glennon. Hey Ryan, um, the, the numbers would suggest that the offense has not performed as well uh, without Taylor in there. How much of a factor has that been the last few games uh, as compared to maybe, you know, um, the own issue, other issues with the offense uh, during that time and then also going up against tougher defenses? Yeah, no, no doubt Taylor's a, a good player and we miss him. Obviously, have a ton of confidence in Ty and what he does when he brings to the table. Um, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, we miss Taylor, but you know, have confidence in Ty. We just have to get it done. There's really, um, really no excuses. We had, you know, Roger was in and out. Ben was in and out tonight. Um, banged up a little bit, but um, we just have to be able to find a way to um, push through those tough situations. We have guys playing, playing through uh, some injuries and showing some toughness and, and laying it out there for the team. Um, but on the whole, we just have to be able to execute better and, and make the plays that, that come up. There's, there's opportunities there, and we're just not making enough plays when we get those opportunities. Jared? Yeah, Ryan, what, what's going on with the drops with the receivers? Obviously, A.J. had a big one today, had another one. Corey had a couple last week. It seems like it's really starting to kill some of these drives. Yeah, it's been, you know, all types of different things, you know, whether it's drop or it's a throw, a missed block. It's never one thing or one person. Um, but when you add the things up, you're killing drives, uh, you're stalling out, you're not scoring points. So that's what I'm talking about. We have to, have to start making the plays and, and take advantage of the opportunities that are there, whether it's a throw, catch, a block so we can you know, hit a crease. You know, a lot of times we're, we're one guy away. And there's too many almost, whether, you know, like I said, throw, catch, block, almost doesn't get it done. We have to be able to, to make it happen on the whole 11 guys working together. And when we do that, we move the football and we make plays. Paul? Wonder if you could talk us through uh, the hit from Justin Houston, uh, how hard that might have been to get back up from and uh, what it's like to not finish a game. First time, I think, uh, well, first time we've seen Logan for sure. Yeah, obviously the hit, the hit hurt, stung a little bit, knocked my air out. Um, Johnny made a good play, got us into to a short yard situation there, and Derek was able to convert on third down. So, um, yeah, the hit hurt, but I uh, was able to get up and, and kind of shake it off. And then just being in that situation in the game, obviously you don't want to be out of striking distance at the end of the game. We need to play better earlier in the second half to, to put ourselves in position to, to win the game at the end uh, when you're down – Three scores at the end, obviously, it's a, it's a sick feeling and not one I want to, you know, have again. Terry? Ryan, do you feel like that you guys on offense, you were, you were winning a lot of shootouts early in the year. Are you guys maybe pressing a little bit, uh, trying to get back to that level? And that's maybe why things aren't 
as smooth as they were? No, I don't think there's there's any pressing. Um, you know, I feel like we came out, we moved the ball early, we scored points early, um, did some really good things in the first half, and then in the second half we didn't. You know, we got to give credit to the defense; they did some good things, made it tough on us, but we didn't execute well enough and um, move the football and make the plays that were there. And you play against a good team, a good defense, and you don't take advantage of the opportunities that, that are given to you, then they're going to stall out and, um, you know, have to punt and give the ball back to them. Two more. Corey. Ryan, how much have teams sped you up? It's looking pretty hairy back there sometime. How much? One more time. How much have they sped you up because it, with, with pressure the last few weeks? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, there's certain situations where, you know, you're feeling the, the rush come in and clock's going off. You want to get the ball out. You know, sacks, kill drives. Uh, don't want to be you know, taking unnecessary sacks. So a lot of times, you know, you're feeling, uh, feeling the pressure, feeling the rush, and, um, you know, trying to get it out before they get there. Last one, Kayla. Yeah, Ryan, pretty emotional night for your wide receiver, Corey Davis. I mean, he was able to, to come into this game. Um, obviously, saw some good catches from him tonight. But what, what did you guys say to him as a team um, leading into this game with just everything that has happened in the past uh, couple days with him and his family? Yeah, just told Corey, uh, I love him, support him, I'm here for him. Um, really just a, a really tough situation, a sick situation that, that you wouldn't wish upon anybody. Um, he was so close to his brother, and his brother meant so much to him. Uh, so uh, I can't even imagine, you know, what he's going through right now emotionally. But I appreciate his effort and the way he battled through that and, and played for us tonight, played a heck of a game, made some big plays for us. So he showed a lot of toughness, but um, it's tough. Uh, you know, the game, the game's over, but those feelings aren't gone. So. Um, Definitely, my heart goes out to Corey uh, and David Long as well. Um, just two terrible situations, and um, I'm sick for him. I'm sick for him. I, I just want him to know that I love him, I care for him, and, and want the best for him.